Hello, my name is Griffin Rogers and welcome to a demonstration of Vibrac's Model 2100 Cap Inspector. Designed and manufactured by Vibrac, the Cap Inspector uses the new Smart Test integrated software platform for testing caps and closures. The Cap Inspector offers a variety of new features from its predecessor, the Torco. The Cap Inspector has a high definition touch panel, a new Windows operating system with improved programming and test profile management, new options for viewing and exporting data, a screen adjustment feature, USB and Ethernet connectivity, a low profile and smaller footprint, and new password security options. Please note that the USB, Ethernet, and RS-232 ports are located on the back of the tower. The tooling that comes with the cap inspector will vary with your application needs. Included will be a bottle clamp, either a single action easy clamp or an adjustable beverage bottle clamp. The style of bottle clamp depends on the type of bottles used. There will also be a custom engineered chuck assembly and a gold standard bottle for user verification. Now we will cover how to properly set up your cap inspector for a test. You will need to provide a set of allen wrenches to tighten the tooling to the cap inspector. When attaching the bottle clamp, the bottle clamp will need to be open to the point where the screw holes are visible, so you may secure it to the torque shaft on the cap inspector. To attach, fit the bottle clamp on the torque shaft and align the screw holes. Once attached, place the bottle in the middle of the clamp pins and screw the black knob until it is secured so that the bottle may not twist or move. Tighten the lock nut and now you have an easy way to secure and remove the bottle. To attach the chuck, simply put the chuck on the bottom end of the D-shaft and tighten the screw. The Windows operating system and Vibrac Smart Test software allow for straightforward data management. Under the System Info button, information about the machine can be found such as the torque capacity, serial number, and factory calibration date. The System Options button changes global settings for the cap inspector. You can change torque units of measurement and set the number of decimal places. If you click onto the next page, you can set calibration weights, set a password, or select a printer for test data. The Profile Manager button allows the user to create, edit, or delete a test profile. If you connect a printer, you can also print out the test profile information. If you click on the New button, there are various programmable tests available for all types of caps. The Removal Test is a non-destructive test that is used to determine the peak removal torque of a cap. The removal torque is measured and displayed and then the cap is reapplied to a specific value. The removal and incremental test is a non-destructive test used to measure the removal torque of a cap and then reapply the cap to a specified position beyond the original starting point. This test is designed to prevent leaking by reapplying the cap to a more secure position. The removal and bridge test 
determines the rotational force needed to remove a cap and break the bridges that join the cap to the tamper evident band on plastic and aluminum caps. The reverse ratchet test measures the torque required to rotate a child resistant type cap without engaging the child resistant mechanism. This means that there is no vertical downforce. The strip test is designed to measure the torque required to strip the threads of any cap. The calibration button allows the user to see the last user calibration and verification as well as perform a user calibration. Now I will show you how to perform a basic removal test. Click on the Select Test Profile button, and then select Removal. Before starting the test, zero the machine by pressing the Zero button. Press Zero again. It is important to remember that the chuck cannot be engaged to the cap while zeroing. After zeroing, engage the chuck to the cap. Press the open button and the cap inspector will apply opening torque to the cap until it begins to move. Then it will stop and reapply the cap to the preset torque entered when creating the profile. Since the movement of the cap is at the breakaway point, the seal is not compromised making it a non-destructive test. The data gathered will be displayed on the touch panel screen after the test. You can either save or clear the test results. I will save them. To view or print the data, click on the View Print button. Here you will see the result of the tests as well as a statistical summary of a batch of tests. You will be able to add a lot number, modify the report, delete the data, save the data to a USB, or print the data. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Vibrax Model 2100 Cap Inspector. If you have any questions or are interested in our product, contact us at vibrac.com, by email at sales at vibrac.com, or by phone at plus one six zero three eight eight two six seven seven seven. Thank you.